Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to all new Mercedes AMG E53 Formatic Plus and here in the salon version. So this is the new facelift for the E53 and also the classic E-Class received the new facelift. So here in this video I want to show you all the new changes uh, which are coming to the E53 and despite the Geneva Motor Show being cancelled due to coronavirus I want to show you in this footage all the new changes and also in the end you will see how the car drives on the road and you will hear the sound of the engine, exhaust and etc. So stay tuned and in the end it will be very interesting. So we can see the front is really the massive change in the new facelift E53. So we can see the new flat uh, headlights. So you can have a now high performance LED as a base option and then multi beams LED as an optional extra. And also the front of the vehicle is now new with uh, AMG specific grille. And also around the grille is like a new border and whole the grille is like in the A shape. So that's also uh, great. We have also new 19 and 20 inch uh, AMG wheels. So that's also a big change. And also the front bumper is now redesigned and you can see the aero parts in the high gloss black in the bumper. And overall, it looks much more modern and personally I like the change. Also big change is in the rear and I will show you that shortly. So we have 19 and 20 inch light alloy wheels in 5 twin spoke design which are aerodynamically optimized and the car looks much sportier with these wheels and they are also in matte black in this specific car. We have also new colors uh, which include graphite grey metallic, Mojave silver metallic and a high tech silver metallic as well. So the facelift is also present uh, with the E-State uh, E53, so stay tuned for that and subscribe and hit the notification bell for all new videos. So the heart of this vehicle is electrified 3.0 liter engine with twin turbocharging via an exhaust gas turbocharger and electric additional compressor which generates output of 320 kilowatts, that's 435 horsepower and produces a peak torque of 520 newton meters. We have also EQ Boost starter alternator, which provides additional 16 kilowatts and output plus 250 newton meters of torque, and also feeds the 48 volt onboard electrical system. And other technical highlights include the AMG specific TCT 9G transmission and fully variable all-wheel drive system AMG Performance Formatic Plus. For the first time we have also the drift mode. So now let's check out the rear of the E53 and we can see the horizontal tail lamps. So this is change in the facelift. So these are two-piece all-LED tail lights on the saloon and interior design of the tail lights on the estate adapted accordingly. I find personally that the car looks more white with these horizontal lights and they have better design also in the tail lamps itself. So I'm really a fan of the, of the new lights. Let me know in the comments what do you think about them. And also we have a new diffuser in the rear and we have these round tailpipes which are characteristic for the entry level AMG engine variants. So the rear apron on the saloon and there is also new diffuser insert on the saloon and the estate. You can also see this chrome line on the boot. AMG logo is on the left side, in the middle is Mercedes and on the right side is E53. And we can see also the lip on the boot. So overall uh, I think it looks much better now in this facelift and for me personally it is a uh, change to a better design. So 0 to 100 km per hour takes only 4.5 seconds and top speed 270 km per hour which is now possible with AMG driver's package and standard is 250 km per hour. So now let's take a look at the interior where we can see several changes. 
So here we can see that this car received all new infotainment system, which is the latest MBUX system. So MBUX is Mercedes-Benz user experience. So these dual screens are 12.3 inch and we have also ambient lighting. And this is the latest MBUX system, which has also features which are specific to the AMG, which you cannot find in a Mercedes-Benz vehicle. This is all new steering wheel and it is heavily redesigned. As you can see, the Mercedes logo is the largest ever on the steering wheel. And also controls on the steering wheel are different. So I cannot wait to see this steering wheel in person and to see how it is and how it feels to operate. But from a visual standpoint, I'm a fan of this uh, steering wheel, which uh, in my personal opinion looks uh, great. It has uh, on the both sides, it has like two slim parts which have haptic controls and they are from a high gloss black material and around them is uh, aluminium. And also the two AMG specific hotkeys are redesigned and also the displays have uh, now different graphics. So we have also the Burmester sound system as it was in a preface lift and fully electric seats. So in this particular vehicle we can see AMG performance seats which have a red contrast stitching and have a gorgeous design and great support but still remaining uh, comfortable. So we can see this gorgeous integrated headrest and with AMG badge on the seats. So they are ventilated, so you can see the leather is ventilated because the seats offer ventilation and also they are heated. So between the seat and headrest we can see this chrome part which visually uh, breaks up the seat a lot, so it looks so so nice. So you guys that's it for this quick overview, let me know what you think. And now guys let's check out the driving footage of this E53. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video and hit the notification bell for all new videos.